Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Follow Your Calling. I'm Lauren, and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm super excited. We have got a special guest today whose name is Martine Maima, and he is going to be talking about what's beneath the surface. So I'm super excited to have you today, Martine. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, you're welcome. I'm excited myself, too. Good, good. So let's get started with, you know, can you maybe just give the listeners a little bit of a background of how you kind of came to be doing what you're doing? Sure, sure. Um, well, I went to university here in the Netherlands and I studied uh, business administration and I started working for a consultancy firm. And at the same time, I also started developing myself and doing self-development trainings and um, and then I found out that there is much more to doing business than what I, what I learned in school and what I also learned in the, in the consultancy firm. So then in 2007, I started my own company, uh, Business Intuition. And there I, I combine actually what I learned in my private um, investigations and private development and with my business skills and business um, knowledge. And um, well, the, ba the basic of what I do is that I help entrepreneurs to find out what's beneath the surface that's influencing the success in your business. Nice. Because most of the time we look at above the surface, what we can see, what we can feel, what we can know, and we try to fix that. And we, we, we try to do it smarter and better and more efficient. But most of the time, that's not really gonna give the result that we want. Right. There's much more underneath the surface that's much easier to accelerate your business. Got it, got it. So can you, can you get a little bit more into that? I mean, what, what, when you say business intuition, can you kind of get a little bit deeper into what that is? Sure, sure, yeah, because intuition is like a broad word that, that many people use and they, it's always, some people say it's, it's your gut feeling, but for me, intuition is, is much more pure than your gut feeling. Your gut feeling is all mixed up with emotions, with longing, with wanting, with pain, with fear, mm -hmm. and it's and that's not a good um, guidance for your for your business. No. But the pure intuition is beyond these emotions. It's beyond the uh, yeah all the pain and, and and all the turbulence inside of you. It's I always say that there are like six flavors of intuition and and this the feeling is just one of the flavors and that's the the, the intuitive feeling it's feeling beyond what is in your your uh, gut feeling mm -hmm. it's more the clear the clear feeling and you also have the seeing so you can see maybe without opening your eyes you can get images or you can get a a, a, a view of a direction you need to go mm -hmm. You also have the knowing, and the knowing is more about, um, yeah, it, it gets mixed up with the thinking because it's also happening in your head. But right. it, again, it's, it's much more clear, it's much faster, it's like a bang, there, there it is. And then you also have the hearing and the, 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 the tasting and the smelling even, even. So you can even smell things that are not there and it's intuitive information. Uh, and business intuition is using all this intuitive information to, well, take your business to the next level. Right, right. And I noticed there was something on your um, website that was like, we're not using the full potential of ourselves and then of course our business. So can you, can you explain more about what that means? Yeah, well, if you, if you are only using things that are above the service and you're just using your five senses and your, and your uh, thinking, Mm -hmm. then you're missing out of a lot of information and a lot of dynamics that are here in the world and in the business world and in, in, in the whole world. Right. Um, and, and if you don't tap into that and if you don't use that in your life and in your business life, then you're missing out on a lot of potential that is, that is there for you and for everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and cause you said money, money, flows as a result of us tapping into this then yeah money for me is not never the goal 
I mean, I, I've, I've done work with a lot of entrepreneurs and nobody says, I want to earn a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, they want to learn, learn, earn a lot of money, but that's not why they started their business. Yeah. There's always a higher purpose, a calling. There's always like this, this drive why you want to do, do things. Yeah. And, um, and money is a result by doing it well and doing it in, in tune with your clients and in tune with the world, then there is going to be a flow of money. Mm -hmm. um, so money is always the result of doing what you're supposed to do um, and also tuning into your clients that are willing to pay for it. Right. So how did, like when someone first comes to you, like, can you explain a little bit about like what's something that you do to help them start to get more in touch if they're maybe like cut off from that deeper place, that intuition? Yeah, it's a good question because there, there are many ways of, of working with that. Mm -hmm. um, I have, I've selected a, 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 a few tools, intuitive tools that will help you to, to get intuitive information quite easily. Um, so those are like visualizations, but also business and family constellations. We come to that later, I think. Um, so that, that you can use some certain tools that help you to get to that information. And there is this personal development, which you, could, you can do to make yourself more open to your intuition. And actually the, the biggest step in that is to let go. So I have some release techniques I use to let go of everything, let go of, uh, of expectations, let go of feelings, let go of, well, whatever is bothering you so that you can be open to, to the intuition and can create like a, a silent place inside of you where you can connect with that intuition. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are two ways. It's like using tools yep. and also um, getting yourself clearer and more free to be open for intuition, to be receptive for your intuition. Mm -hmm. So can you explain a little bit about these business constellations? Because I'm so curious what that, what that actually is. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very excited about those because I use them a lot. Since 2008, I was, I was educated in, in facilitating constellations and I use them almost every day. And so I'm really excited about it because it's a, it's a, it's a tool that, or, well, I shouldn't say tool, but for the easiest way to say it, it's a tool to be able to see the dynamics that are underneath the surface. So if you're facing a problem in your business, like I don't get enough clients, I, I have a companion that is not, there's tension between us or, or um, I have a calling, but I don't know how to create it into a business. Then you can do a, a constellation and constellations were developed, I think the uh, 1990, 90s here in Germany, next door, the, our neighbors, okay. uh, by Bert Hellinger. And actually he, he, he um, used the work of, um, what's her name? Oh, I forgot her name. An American lady who worked with family, um, family system therapy. Okay. And what he did, he, he said, okay, so a family, he started with family. So a very personal way of using constellations. He said, a family is a, is a larger system. It's not you as an individual, but you're part of a family with your fa father, your mother, but also with your, with your grandparents and even the great grandparents. And what he found is that sometimes inside the system, something is uh, mixed up or something is wrong. And without you knowing it, you're picking up that, picking that up as a child and you're trying to rebalance the system by doing something or by taking some burden from somebody or by um, following somebody's patterns. And then that, that creates tension in your own life. And a constellation reveals these patterns and these dynamics. And basically what you do is you take people, you ask people to represent family members in case of the family constellations. So you say, okay, can you represent my father? So he doesn't know anything about your father, but he just represents your father. So he's standing there in the room representing your father. And the same with your mother, your brother, maybe your grandfather. And even you ask somebody to represent yourself, which is very strange because you look at a at like a movie or a theater, which is not a theater, but it's like looking at your own story. Huh. And then these people, and they have done research but they cannot find out how these people, they just know or sense 
what they need to do. So they, they say words that, yeah, this is exactly what my father would say, or this is just exactly how my father behaves. So they, they really embody this information for you. And then they start moving and, and, and well, the, the, the facilitator starts exploring what's happening here. And, and it, gives, it reveals like in, in a very short time, the, 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 the root cause of, of your problem, of your issue. And later on, this has been transferred into the business. So instead of father, mother, we have somebody representing uh, the, the company, representing maybe the client, maybe your, your product or service, maybe money, maybe your calling, or maybe that what is blocking you. So you, it has been broadened and broadened so that you can use it for many, many uh, issues and questions. That is wild. And constellations, obviously, the stars, like the... Yeah, so they took the word from the stars, but it's not about stars. It's about, well, it's about how they are constellated and how it's related to each other. Right. Because the, the, the basic information comes from the body sensation. So what does somebody feel and sense there? So it's not about, oh, I think I should be there. And I think, no, it's about, okay, I'm, I'm standing here and it's more comfortable than when I move closer. And so it's about distance and it's about how, yeah, whoa, I, I feel some danger here or I feel love here or here I feel connection. I feel something flowing here. And here, whoa, no, this, I want to I, I wanna go away. So it's more in this here and now than about the then and the, and the later and maybe and sometimes. It's, it's really in the experiencing in the here and the now. Yeah, and I would think that helps people to reconnect to their intuition just by going through doing something like that. Yeah, so that's, that's a, a nice side effect from a constellation is that you really, yeah, you're reconnected with this body sensation with your intuition. Right. And at the same time, you get these answers to the questions you have about your business in a very short time. And that's what I like. I'm a, I'm a kind of a lazy guy. <laughs> I like to have, yeah, I, I like to have quick information and which is really deep because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's something that your mind cannot think of because otherwise you would have thought, uh, found a solution yourself, Right. but you haven't. So it, it gives some, some, some new perspective on your, on your questions and your issues and your business. Oh, I love that. I love that. It reminds me of actually the Kundalini yoga technology that I use with my clients because, and with myself, like my experience was getting to a point where I can remember more and more in my life starting to just trust when I would feel something just to say it. Cause I was like, I don't have to like, I mean, I used to analyze what I would think so much. I would just keep getting in the way. And now it's so interesting. Like I'll say something to someone and you know, sometimes I'll still be like, Oh, why am I saying this? But I'm like, I'm saying it cause it's supposed to, they're supposed to hear it. You know, I'm just here to like share something. And it's such a relief to be able to be in that spot because then you, you I can not only like just trust myself, but then I can, help and be, a, be of service to someone else, which is kind of what the point of all this is, right? Your work. Yes, yes, it is, yes. I'm really wanting to, actually what I would like to do is have more people tap into the intuition and do business from that intuitive perspective, because then you do business that will benefit yourself, it will benefit your clients, but also the planet and the world. Yeah. Because if you tap into this intuitive layer, I call it, um, it's the layer where everything is one and we're all connected and there's no time and no place. So it's, 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 um, it gives you information that's good for everyone and not only to, to improve your business and your financial situation, but it's also creating uh, a, 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 an effect in the world that is positive. Right, right. So can you share maybe like a, an interesting, cool story from a client like that you've seen come in and experience this? in their business, like what actually happened? Yeah, it's a very interesting story. I, I, I'm still quite, well, it was, it made some kind of an impression still on me. Even I do uh, many, many constellations. Sometimes it really stri strikes me like, whoa, this is, wow. this is interesting. This was a guy, he was like a plumber, I think. And he didn't have clients inside his own village. So there were, his clients were all from, from other villages. So he always had to drive quite a, quite a distance. So he came to me and he said, so can you help me to find clients in, in, inside my village? Um, and this was in, in a workshop setting. So 
I said, okay, well, let's see it. Let's have a look at it. So can you ask somebody to represent the clients, the potential clients in your village? And then can you have somebody represent your company? Um, and we had some other representatives, but, but these two were more most important. And then I just, okay, so how are you doing? Or do you feel connected? How are you doing? And then the interesting thing is the representative of the client, the potential client in his village, he said, hmm, I'm really sensing something that is dead here. Death, there's something with death. Okay, this is a business setting. So um, I was going, okay, okay. But I, I know that I have to trust these this information from the representative. So I said, okay, so I asked somebody to represent dead or death. And he was lying on the ground. And I was going, what's happening here? So I asked the, 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 the entrepreneurs, I said, what's happening here? He said, I know what's happening here. And he was really touched and everybody could sense it because, well, if you have somebody representing death then it's quite tense. He said, I have a building where I work and the former owner committed suicide in this building. And he said, that's, the, that's what's here on the ground. I still get the shivers from it. So I said, okay, can you say, can you just sit next to this guy? Can you just say, yes, this is it. Can you tell your potential clients, okay, yes, this is what's happened in my company, in my, in my, in the building of my company. And he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. It was too hard for him. And it, well, the setting was not, not that, that he could really, because he started crying because it was really touching him. Mm. But later, you know, I haven't talked to him, but um, that was so interesting to see that something like, well, you say, how can this influence my, me getting more clients? But it was really influencing his business. Wow. And by acknowledging that this is, that this happened in your company. So he, what he could have done, for example, is put a picture up of this guy. He's like, okay, so there's the former owner of this, this building and he committed suicide. I mean, we don't want that, but it's happening. So we right. can better acknowledge it. Yeah. Wow. And then he was able to get a breakthrough from that and and start to get clients in his village yeah the thing is i do this once and then i don't talk to these guys oh okay and that's that's a pity um because yeah I, for me i trust it and I, i'm not going to do any research but they have done research for in a, like a university he has done research to into like do constellation work and do they get the results and they found that after a constellation, the companies change and, the, and things happen in the company. And then they wanted to find out how this happened and they couldn't find the how. They couldn't find how do, we, how do you get this information? How did this guy representing these uh, potential clients, how did he know it was something with the, with the debt? He just sensed it. Said, oh, right. There's something it's not, dead here. right. It's not like a, you can't, you can't always just, like it's not a scientific thing where you can measure it. It isn't, no, no. And that's, yeah, that's also, yeah, I like that. That's... Yeah, and that, I mean, the, the point is hopefully at the end, someone's like, doesn't worry so much about like all the whys and, and how that came to be, but actually wants to just say like, you know what? This makes sense and feels right. Like, you know, it's funny now, right before I got on this interview with you, I had this breakthrough this morning where I was seeing, um, that I've been seeing money in some sort of way as separation because of something that like growing up, my father, when he made money, when he started doing really well, he wasn't home a lot and there was a breakdown in my parents' relationship. And, and it really just came to me this morning through a variety, like I woke up and did this heart opening meditation. And it's just interesting we're having this conversation because now it's kind of coming into like more clarity for me. And I can just say, mm -hmm. wow, like that's making a difference in my business that I was thinking that way, of course, because money is love. Yeah. Money is served. Money is love. Yeah. yeah. So. so that's interesting that you that you mentioned that because there's this time there was nothing nothing with the family, but most of the time there's always something with the family, yes. especially with, with entrepreneurs that are self-employed. And for myself, for example, I had a breakthrough when I had a constellation about my uh, I, I wanted to do more international business and I wanted to know, okay, but it's, ah, it's not going well. And I was still mixed up with other projects. And then what I could feel is that there was like a, I think we're like 10 people 
sitting in this constellation and they represented all the people in my family that couldn't have couldn't uh, live up to their dreams and they couldn't have to have the uh, what they wanted and i was being loyal to all these people by keeping myself small and not going bigger and then when i saw that and i had to, the, the facilitator made me say because of you i will i will create a big company and i will i will go after my dreams so instead of what i said is because of you i will not do it i had to say no because of you i will do it That's and then i still get me shivered because yeah, that, that really chill, was an too. impulse for my business that's amazing. My coach was actually saying when she was speaking two weeks ago um, to all of us in, in one of our coaching groups, and she the way she worded it was changing the DNA of like your whole line of ancestors. Like, and she happened to be talking about her relationship at the time because she was seeing how she was still being a certain way in her relationship. And she could see every woman in her family going back as far as she knew doing the same thing that she was trying to move past but when she saw it that way she was like she had all this compassion for herself and like you just said like how the coach made you say like she's like i get to change the dna of my family now and and yes. the relationships of like being a woman now in my relationship and it really hit me i was like wow that's amazing <laughs> yeah, it's very powerful that. yeah <laughs> And, and talking about a calling, because this is also about a, following your calling, what I've also seen in constellations, that it, because then you can also ask a somebody to represent your calling. Mm -hmm. And then this, this entrepreneur and this calling, they were looking at each other and said, oh, I don't know you. I don't feel that you're connected. And I go, oh, what? this is your calling. I mean, why? And then this, this representative of the calling says, well, I don't belong to you. I belong to somebody else. And then this entrepreneur says, oh, now I know, I'm just following my mom's calling instead of mine. So then I, and I asked somebody to represent the mom and then, oh yeah, the calling says, yeah, I belong to you. And then this, for this entrepreneur, it's very clear that I was, I was following somebody's calling that's not mine. And I can never really make a success out of that because it's not mine. Right. So that's also very inter interesting to, well, to, to, to investigate for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how many people tell that story of like, I mean, I had, a sh I had someone on the show the other day and she was saying she went to, you know, medical school because her father wanted her to go to medical school, yeah. you know? And she did end up, you know, she did end up doing what she wanted to do because she was in kind of the right place because she wanted to do something more with mind body work with acupuncture and but it didn't start out that way, you know, because that stuff's not as where she really wanted to go wasn't all this scientific based facts. And, you know, she was really into like all this stuff that we're talking about, you know? So it was interesting too, to be like, yeah, when we let go of like needing to fit in, you know, which is like what we're really talking about being in the flow and that authentic self and, you know, being connected, you know, that's what, that's what it's about. So yeah and then at the same time i also believe that everything that has happened to me or to you has happened for a reason and also for a reason to make you stronger in in being able to execute your calling um so i just talked to the, to this lady today and she said wow at a certain she was at this in, in training and then she was so touched because she, she could feel that Oh, now everything comes together. All the pain I had in the past, all the, the things I've learned in school and all the things that I thought I didn't have to do, but I did. And now everything comes together. And now I can see, okay, this is what makes me a good trainer now because I have all this. And um, so I think also for people that oh, I'm, I'm not on the right path, mm -hmm. it's also what people say, well, am I on the right path? I said, you cannot be on, on the wrong path. It's always the right path. Mm -hmm. It's only that maybe, yeah, you need to move a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, or, but it's, it's not that you're on the wrong path. It's everything is, is, is necessary for you to yeah, live your calling and live your the, the purpose in your life. Yeah. So what's your big why behind what you do with that being said with like, you know, cause I agree with you. Like I know the challenges that I've had in my life and the dark, dark places that I went through make me more, make me more able to have the courage to do a lot of the things that I'm doing now. Well, the big why is that I would love people to, um, to live together, but also work together. For me, 
I'm, I'm focused on the work part uh, in a way that they take everything into account. It's not like some people have like an, an I perspective. If I get better, if I, some people have a we perspective. It's, it's good that if we get better. And, and But I would like to have a, 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 a holistic perspective, a, one, a oneness perspective that we take also the planet into account and also future generations into account. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love to spread the word about intuition and tapping into this more intuitive field because that's where for me is the source of information that helps you as an entrepreneur to do the things that will create a better world. Mm -hmm. And I would like really com like to contribute to that. Love that, love that. So do you wanna share with the, the listeners what your free gift is so that they can go deeper with you and understand your work more? Yeah, sure. Well, what I've created is uh, three business intuition tools to boost your business. So it's three tools uh, that are based, one is based on, on um, on constellations or actually it's a constellation because you can also do them uh, without people but just with pieces of paper on the floor it's very powerful um, and I've developed two other tools that you can use in your business to take it to the next level and um, you can download that on my website all right nice thank you so is yes. there one last morsel that you can share maybe for that person out there that's like the one you just described like they're maybe questioning their own you know, am I on the right path? Like, what would you say to that person? Like a little last morsel for them to be able to get some movement. Yeah, it's, it's instead of focusing outward and finding things and information, is focus inward. Um, close your eyes, go walk in the nature, uh, work with your hands, and really start contemplating, but also start getting quiet and getting still. And the answers come from unexpected places then. Mm -hmm. But it, it's more slowing down and, and focusing inward than speeding up and focusing outward. That's yes. what I would like to share. Love it. Love it. Yes. I am okay. with that as well. That's what I, that's like the first pillar of my program is people getting reconnected, remembering their true self. Really, I call it a Yeah, it's important. So, yeah. Love it. Well, Martine, thank you so, so much for your time today. I really appreciate the work you're doing in the world is beautiful. And thank you so much thank for you. sharing all of your insights and knowledge today. Okay. You're welcome. I loved it. Thank all you. Right. And thank you, okay. audience and listeners out there. Make sure you uh, go ahead and download the free gift from Martine and take advantage of all of this amazing insight and knowledge and go out and follow your calling. Bye, everybody. Yeah.